So like I said, our guest is here all the way from Malawi. Yeah, <laughs> How are you doing, brother? I'm very good in yourself. I'm all right. How's yeah. Malawi? Uh, Malawi is fine. Is it Malawi or Malawi? Malawi. Malawi. Yes. Okay. How is it? It's all good. Yeah? Yeah. You decided to visit Zambia. Yes. Okay. Mm. Tell, 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 us, tell, tell us a bit about um, how your stay so far is going in Zambia. Um, Zambia is amazing, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's quiet, it's, 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 it's coming, and the people are friendly as well. Do, do, do you feel like you're far away from home? To be no, honest with you. Like <laughs> it feels like home. It feels like it's really another city. Like yeah, it just feels like, you know? Yeah. Malawi and, and Zambia are like siblings countries mm -hmm. so it feels it feels like home yeah yeah I, I, was, I was checking how much people love you from your country yeah and how much impact you have yeah uh, but let, let's talk about the starting point and um, how you worked extra hard to be where you are now in Malawi and being yeah. one of the most celebrated hip-hop artists yes um, so we started making music back then in 2005 mm -hmm. um, at that time we had a crew it was called pity boys but then I started my solo career around 2009 but then for me to have like um, a proper big song was in 2013 that's mm -hmm. when I, I, I blew up like proper blew up mm -hmm. the whole country yeah so from 2013 up until now we've been up there in Malawi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have some, some international features that you've done. Yeah. Your, your videos yeah. uh, are on point. Yeah. You know, there's, there's always this thing where there's, like I was saying about distribution, mm -hmm. uh, be before having a conversation with you, I was talking about how certain music that we get to know from Malawi, uh -huh. and when I've been following your music and yeah. I see the quality yeah. and how much you put in your videos, Yes. Some of Zambians would agree with me that some have different perspective about Malawian videos. Mm -hmm. You know, where yeah. the quality, some of the videos are low, yeah. but based on your quality, it's different. Yes. Yeah, because we have to set the standard and someone has to do it. So most of my videos, I shoot them in South Africa. Not because there are no um, good directors in Malawi, but just like if you shoot on a red camera, the environment is different. So. I'm shooting most of my videos in South Africa because I need I need to set that that, that standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From those two songs that we gave uh, the, the, the the viewers uh, a chance to get to pick. Yes. Uh, from from what you've heard from those uh, two videos, uh, if you had an option to get to pick, which one do you feel like it's? <laughs> like the music video or the song? The song. The song has to be the second one. The second I think song. It's Why? Hit. It's a song that a lot of people can easily relate to. Mm -hmm. He's saying Munsien Sangalali and stuff like that. I can hear what he's saying. So I feel like it's something that a lot of people can relate to. Let's do this. Just in case you're watching Priority Voice or Prime TV, you don't know who our guest is. Uh, his name is, uh, is it Gwamba? Gwamba, yes. I go to pronounce it right. Yes. Yeah. So let's do this. You have a song with Praise. Yes. This is an amazing song. Mm -hmm. Praise is born and bred from Malawi. Yes. Let's show you the video. And on the other side, you also understand that we're having a goat <laughs> <laughs> on TV right now. Let's do this. Let, let, I, I need to tell people, mm -hmm. you know, like it's like we're introducing you in Zambia. Yes. But I know your mm -hmm. wife yes. and I know how people from Malawi celebrate yes. you. Yes. So let me introduce you to our people in Zambia. Mm -hmm. His name is Gwamba, uh, but there's a song that they have done with praise, an amazing song. On the other side, we'll also get to pick up your calls and we'll get to find out from the two videos which one are you picking as we still have a conversation with our guest, Pamene from the Prime TV. Oh, I read all the time, I'm fine. I'm running out of time, I can't take it a day out of time sometimes. Man, our dreams have been too long since we were only young kids and now. Yo, venue yo moyo ena ama flopa Sama trenda nyimbo sao waka tropa Tepe na pride mafune zindi kopa Koma mpuye wanga sanga kondo kutin zisi popa The rule number one, kuma kala hambo Potuka sikwe sama siyo panga sako Rule number two, osa kala ndi tanko Potile loti kape mawali pa mamba pako Kayanga na kumpuyo nga tindingo kuwa mpuye Tina konsa chani kutinu mundi masure Mandi josa kutali kuina kuso mula mpule Ule nda so that is uh, how we get to give you an idea on what we're talking about. I'm sure if Ngati Mozego an idea, I got uh, 
uh, kumalaya kutoka chia jama video, jama tenzo hona, jama VCD, <laughs> na ma DVD. Hapa <laughs> manja kuri ma, I don't know, ma 1080. Or maybe in my HD, I just see a knock where I'm a quality. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, uh, in Zambia, we pirates at some certain point. Mm -hmm. But to be honest with you, your country yeah. had more piracy. I don't yes. know if you agree with yes. me. Yeah, yeah, there no, was I more know. piracy coming from Malawi. Nah, even, guys even, with even now. Even but but, but how, how, how are you controlling it, are you as an artist? Um, I feel like now we just need to accept that the era has changed. It's a social media era now. Like when you're putting out music, you have yeah. to make sure it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify. The stream, the streams are, are, are giving you money. But now it's different from, you can't stop people from, let's say, burning music. They're going to do it in whatever effort you do. So I just adapted to putting my music online and selling mm -hmm. my music online. Yeah. How, how are you artists making money in Malawi? Um, uh, is, is it something that you can say it's paying your bills and you're happy with how the, the, the progression is going financially? Yeah, um, mostly it's through gigs, you know, but I feel like artists are supposed to make the most money from organizations, deals, you know, endorsements and stuff. Not really, there are not so many Malawian acts who have had deals before. I feel like um, the difference between Malawi and, and Zambia is when I got here, just moving, I can see my two on some billboard. I'm going to see Slap D somewhere. In Malawi, they would rather use a model from outside the country where nobody knows in Malawi and put it on a standard bank billboard. Mm -hmm. So they, they don't really support us musicians like that, like the way I've seen like organizations and companies pumping money in artists in Zambia. Mm -hmm. That's the only gap that we have now. But then I feel like they're waking up now. Yeah. It's a slow process, but I feel like they're waking up now. The unity, I, I saw you at some certain point, you were, uh, Suffix was having his, uh, was it his album? Yeah, his album launch. Then you had to go there just to support him? Yeah, he called me as a surprise, as a surprise act. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't on the initial lineup, I just showed up um, as a surprise act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the unity, it's, it's the obviously, it's yeah. not like the whole industry can be one, the yeah. divisions. But yeah, I feel like the unity is there. Like when I had an event this year, um, almost the whole industry, all the artists were posting about it. Mm. So these days it's like when someone has an event, let's say he's launching an album, he's going to have the backup of almost all the artists posting about it. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like the unity is there. Diamond was in your country in Malawi. Yes. I, I follow your country too much. Mm -hmm. Jake was in your country. Yes. Uh, we also have uh, Chameleon who's also having uh, events Yeah, in, and, in and, and, and in fact, um, Your Maps was in Malawi uh, yeah. uh, a month ago for, for Sun Music Festival. That's like the biggest festival in Malawi. Mm -hmm. It happens at the beach inter each, each and every year. Mm -hmm. So he came to, to head the festival as well this year. Okay. And he had a very amazing performance. He performed after me. Okay. Yeah. That means that <laughs> <laughs> he performed after. Yeah, right after my set. That's okay. I think your maps went on stage. Yeah. Since 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 you uh uh you are here, I mm -hmm. want to get to take this opportunity to get find out from you which 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 maybe Zambian songs are like big in your country, like maybe all two or three. Um, Zambian songs. There is this new song by Makitu and Your Maps. Yeah. It's bumping. Uh -huh. um, um, mostly, okay, there's this, there was an era where there were like um, Zambian acts like um, organized family, yeah. you know, that type of music, but now it switched a bit to urban. So there's a lot of like J-Rox, a lot of Your Maps, um, Makitu, people bump to Chef 187, those are people who can actually come to Malawi and, 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 and hold it and, and, and have a concert. Mm -hmm. Pompey, um, um, obviously Abel Chungu, those are like people like Abel Chungu can come to Malawi and organize his own show and pack it up and feed it up properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So before we get to uh, find out from our viewers who are watching this show right here on Prime TV, we also want to let you know that today we are going to be picking up maybe three or four calls just to get to find out from the two songs that we shared with you. Which one are you picking as the song of the day? So before we get to pick up those calls, uh, the other thing I have to find out, you're going to be celebrating your birthday next month. Yes. On the phone. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so no. you're going to be celebrating your birthday yeah. uh, next month. Yeah. Is, is, is there anything that you feel like, uh, uh, maybe let's talk about 2022 as your year? Yeah. 
Is there anything that you maybe you're looking forward to get to achieve next year, 2023? Um, next year, I'm planning on filling up a stadium in Malawi. Because um, last year, I had, an, I had an event at Zuzu Stadium. Yeah. We, we sold over 15,000 tickets. Wow. Um, this year, I had an event as well in Blanta. Um, we sold about 10,000 tickets. So next year, I'm planning a huge event at the biggest stadium in Malawi. Mm -hmm. The capacity is 40,000. So I'm going to announce my event in January, but the event is in August. Mm -hmm. So next year, the only thing that I'm planning on doing, because this year I dropped an album, so obviously next year I can't drop any project. So my, all my energy and all my focus is going on that event next year. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Do we expect any... Uh, collaborations since you are in the country right now? Yeah, yeah, I'll be in the studio with um, Rough Kid. Yeah? Yeah, tomorrow night. And uh, I'm also talking to. FK. I hear that Rough Kid has been saying they are um, shifting to Malawi. <laughs> 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 so he's in the country, he's doing something. Yeah, and, and, and I'm supposed to record a verse on FJ's song. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Amazing. Mm. Uh, the other thing is uh, you, you grew up from Lilongwe. Yes. Maybe, maybe you can tell us how. The long has played a role in your music career. Um, it's the capital city of Malawi. I've, I've spent almost my whole life in Ilongwe. I've never stayed in, uh, apart from the time I was staying in South Africa, but I've never stayed anywhere else in Malawi apart from Ilongwe. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the music is going to grow from the hood, area 18, where mm -hmm. I was raised, and then growing outside the hood until, because you, you need to blow up in your city first. Yeah. So you blow up in your city and then you blow up in your country and then you expand from there. So yeah. obviously, Lilongwe has played a huge role in my music career. Yeah. Mm. Let's get to play you another snippet, uh, just as we just get to pick up your calls on the other side. Let's get to play you another video, uh, one of his biggest songs that he did two years ago, right here all the way from Gwamba on Prime TV. ago yes. uh, got amazing feedback mm -hmm. it is one of the biggest songs mm -hmm. uh, you featured one of those uh, is from South Africa yes Mindo the vocalist yeah he's doing amazing work as mm -hmm. well uh, the views mm -hmm. it has massive views I was just checking on your YouTube yeah. massive uh, feedback right there so every time you see your old stuff and comparing with your current one are you super proud of what you've done way back and now yeah because obviously if, if if your sound is not improving then what are you doing you know um, there is like the quality has to be different each and every year each and every time you record the quality your music videos, the quality, the quality of your audios has to be different. Yeah, mm. you have to. As time is growing, you also have to grow. So, I've been. I, I, I've started my own personal campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm telling you right now, it's my personal campaign right now. Mm -hmm. So I was having this conversation with a colleague of mine before you came through on radio yeah. on Joy FM. Yeah. We're talking about how, because I was telling him, saying, "I'm gonna have this guy on radio," mm -hmm. and I played your song on radio. Mm -hmm. So this guy, we had this conversation discussion, saying. Um, Looking at the videos that we've been seeing mm. from Malawi, there's yeah. Namadingo, yeah. there's other artists, Suffix, yes. uh, there are Physics, yes. amazing artists coming from Malawi. Yes. It's sad that we don't see these videos on Trace. Yes. Yeah, and I it's mean, my own personal campaign, like I'm saying this right yeah, now. Yeah, and it's not, it's not even like we don't submit, like so many Malawian artists submit their music, but I feel like the whole... This channel all trace MTV thing was taken over by South Africa and Nigeria. That's 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 the only problem. It's like eighty percent of the content that you see is either from Nigeria or South Africa. But for them to play, let's say, Zimbabwean music video, even a Zambian music mm -hmm. video, or Malawian music video, apart from maybe the diamonds and and, and that those four or five people from, from Tanzania. But most of the content that you see on those channels are strictly Nigeria or South Africa. Have you, have, you have, you, have you tried to do your survey yourself just to find out where? Nah, because sometimes when I'm watching Channel Law, I can see some videos that then I feel like I, I have better videos than this, you know? But simply because Channel Law is from South Africa and it's a South African music video, it's going to play, and a Malawian video or a Zambian video, which is much better, is not going to play. Yeah, that's the only problem that I see, mm -hmm. mm. and I feel like it's affecting the talent because I feel like there's so many talented artists from like Zambia, Malawi, who are supposed to be up there, 
but they don't get the chance to showcase their, their work. Yeah. yeah. That maybe you're trying to achieve while you're in Zambia, apart from the features, is there anything that you hope on achieving? Um, I, I hope to gain as many Zambian fans as, as possible. So um, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm, I'm on Prime TV, you know. I, I, I want to introduce myself to Zambians. Yeah. So um, by the time I'm leaving this country, I believe I will have, you know, I introduced myself to a good number of Zambians. So I'm planning on coming again and again yeah. and again. Yeah. How does it feel walking in the street of Zambia? No one is recognizing you, but when you just enter Malawi, <laughs> you know, that's 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 what we need to correct. Yeah, you know, the the, the the thing between Malawi and Zambia is our languages are similar. Yeah, that is why someone um, from Zambia can easily come to Malawi and have a concert. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why Malawians love that Zambian music. Mm -hmm. But there are not so many Malawian artists that have put an effort. Because you see, Ebe Uchung, I've seen Ebe Uchung in Malawi just coming there just to interact and then he comes back. So there are not so many Malawian artists who are able to come to Zambia just to stay for like a few days, have good connections and come back. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Your remarks to the people who are watching right now, I know maybe some people are watching, they know your music uh -huh. and uh, they're super excited to see you on TV right now. Uh -huh. Maybe Ma. You, you, you need to say it, Chichewa, or Chakwas, which I'll be. Okay, so yeah. Aba Mugundo and in have an interview, come on next time, Zaka Mugundo and I will show. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Got to Malay in Maguam. So let's see what you're boss. In my boss. <laughs> Give us three lines before we get to leave you mm -hmm. so that people understand. Just three. Some of the tetsa, a monanga de gumala, we could just even petsa, and they find an abandonment to tell and dimma wake, I will go to Gabasuga, which up a well geisha. What's going on?